Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one I want to teach you how to perform uh, Azure Disk Encryption uh, on virtual machine disks, VHD files. So what happens when you are deploying the virtual machine, especially if you're using the managed disk where Azure is going to manage the deployment and management of your virtual hard disk, it will automatically deploy a virtual machine in a storage account where you will, it will be completely transparent and it will automatically apply storage service encryption or SSC when the, the, the files are actually saved to the platform itself. Now on the top, top of it you can additionally add Azure Disk Encryption that you can encrypt the VHD file or VDH file, virtual hard disk file and by default that is not enabled so you need to do that. So in this one what I'll do we want to deploy a virtual machine and I'll show you what happens to begin with. Uh, so this is a resource group. So let's do uh, Azure Disk Encryption. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to use STUS2. There is some problem going on today with that region. So I'm just going to use a different region. Go to that region and uh, go to the resource group and start deploying and go to compute and uh, take a virtual machine and I'm going to choose one of the Windows machines uh, let's see choose the West US 2 region um, win 1 1 win 11 okay it's the name of the machine that I want to do I'm not going to configure any availability. I'm going to choose one of the Windows 2019 data center. The size looks good. And password. Alright, we got that. Uh, nothing else is really required so I'm just going to create this virtual machine and usually this deployment is really fast and uh, I'll just say create and I'll have this virtual machine and here's the deployment has uh, started and this page will change and you can also look at the deployment how it's going on from this blade as well and uh, once this is done uh, we're going to look at uh, particularly the disk and uh, how to uh, give some additional encryption to our disk that is getting deployed with this particular deployment. Okay, so I think one is good. Uh, as this is going on, we can possibly deploy another virtual machine. Okay, so what we'll do this one in in win one, we're gonna do this from the portal, and uh, win two, we're gonna use a script to do this encryption. Okay, so same deployment group. Let's say win two one, and we're gonna choose the same 2019. That deployment is done, by the way. And we'll do we'll do some password and uh, uh, disk. The only thing that you just need to remember that we are using the managed disk. Okay, if you choose to use the unmanaged disk, then you're in trouble. So just go with this for now, and uh, create the other machine as well. So we really follow the exact same process for both machines. Okay, and at this time, uh, what we'll do, we know that this deployment was successful, so we'll go to the resource, which is, should be the win one one. Okay, and if you look at the disk, okay, so you have the, the this disk available to you, okay, and this disk, you have all kinds of information. Here is the encryption, and it says disk encryption setting can be changed only when the disk is unattached or owner VM is deallocated. That's fine. 
uh, let's see it's, it was giving us anything else some configuration information some telling us some more information about type it's premium SSD 127 gigs uh, here's some additional properties this is the resource group managed by this resource group so let's come back over here so what we really want to change is the encryption right now I have the standard SSC with the PM PMK and to change and add the Azure disk encryption if you don't have it it will show up in your security center as a high finding that you don't have the additional uh, security which is Azure disk encryption so it's pretty simple you just click on the encryption over here okay uh, Azure disk encryption provider okay so it's not to giving me anything why it's not giving me anything so click one more time so this uh, disk to encrypt here is saying none so looks like from this one you can't even do anything right so it's it's thinking okay I have the SSC with PMK already available what are you trying to do okay so let's look at the other machine that deployment looks like it's already done Okay. Uh, deployment succeeded no this deployment might still be going on so let's on this one let's come over here so this machine vm1 is available and let's go to the resource group this is my resource group and see if the other virtual machine deployment is so the other one must be going on because it says one succeeded so other one is probably still going on it's somewhere in here all right so let's uh, so we have seen that this disk encryption okay we were not able to do anything uh, do anything for uh, clicking on the encryption button it just didn't give us any options at all okay from here so we went where we went within the virtual machine we went to the virtual machine just to show you one more time we went to the disk and we looked at the encryption we click on encryption and it says it no nothing is available and then what you can do you can choose OS and data disk and now you see your options are available okay so that's the option and it took a little bit of time for this option to come up so give give it a little bit of time because now as you supports uh, this work from both portal and from the command line so when you have this option so you had it none so there was nothing showing this to encrypt so you just need to see either the waste disk if you want for both just use waste and data disk both okay uh, key vault so here you need to set up a key vault a key and a version so if you already have a key vault you can choose a existing key vault looks like I have nothing so I'm gonna create one and we'll just call it something um, let's see I'm gonna use a, a use one of the uh, one of the script so let's see if I can use reuse some of the key vault names maybe okay encryption vault is what we want to use let's see if I can use that one uh, data has to be globally unique so let's see encryption vault is already in use some good interest of all one uh, nine Okay, encryption for nine is in is not used at the moment, so we're gonna use that. And uh, for the resource group, we're already using a different resource group. So ADE is our resource group name, and we know our machine is is one one is where we're doing it uh, from the portal. On the two one, we would like to do it uh, using the Porsche. So we got that one, got that one. Um, where are we? Okay, the vault. So this is the key vault name. Uh, everything looks good. Soft delete. Uh, what I, what you need to do, make sure that you come over here, and you definitely enable this one as your disk encryption for volume encryption. You gotta have this available to you, otherwise you can't use it. I typically enable all three of them. 
and then you can just do uh, review and create that will create your uh, key file that we're going to use for this disk encryption purpose <laughs> excuse me and it doesn't take like more than 15 20 seconds to get the key file uh, once this is done uh, what we will do we will uh, create a key and use the key for the uh, virtual disk encryption okay so the deployment is successful so it this page is just gonna get refreshed just give give us one more second and there we go and key again I don't have any any keys so I'm just gonna create a new key you can e either use a EC or RSA I'm just gonna stick to RSA and then um, as your disk encryption uh, so that's the name of my key uh, you can use a 4096 or 3070 there's a key length uh, I'm just gonna go with the default say create and it's actually gonna create a version and this is gonna be my first version so I'm just gonna create that one and select it so now all the information is filled in properly and if you look at the key vault it's got the key vault and the, and the location of the key the key name and the version ID and just need to say save and it will go through a, a reboot of your machine to so just be uh, make sure that you understand that it will reboot your system to do this job as your disk encryption and just say save and it should take care of the problem so let's go back over here let's see what is going on with the other deployment it doesn't look like the other deployment even doing anything so what we'll do is we'll just uh, create another virtual machine right here quickly maybe we miss something uh not okay create so same win to one uh gonna be in west two uh here student password password uh, don't think I need to do anything else disk everything else should be the same review create and create so that will start the deployment of this Probably we came down here and never never hit the create button the last time. So it's now deploying the other virtual machine. <coughs> so while this is going on, uh, let's go to the first virtual machine. And uh, again, we're gonna go and take a look at the disk. And look, the, look at that, it's still saying SSC with PMK. So, so although we started our disk encryption, uh, enabled Azure disk encryption, it's not enabled yet. So look at over here, let's see what it's telling us. Yeah, so it's still saying updating the other thing that we have done two minutes ago, updating the disk encryption setting. That process is still going on. So once that's done, what I expect to see is uh, this will have SSC plus PMK plus ADE that will be available to us. And that's how uh, like this, uh, the other deployment looks like it's successful as well. So let's look at while well, this is going on. And this uh, disk encryption usually takes up to 10 minutes or so. So it's not like right now the disk encryption is now said it's done. So let's just go back to the machine one more time since it's done. Look at and look at that. So now we have SSC with PMK and ADE as a disk encryption now available to us as well. So that's how you add additional layer of security to your virtual hard disk with an Azure from the portal. Now, if we wanna do this from the command line, uh, let's go to the other virtual machine, uh, not virtual machine scale set, just look for virtual machine or go to the resource group any way we like. And let's see the other one is also available looks like to go to the disk and this one you also see that uh, what do you have you have the same SSC with PMK and we would like to have the disk encryption available to us so we just need 
couple of information open up our PowerShell and I will give you the commands that I'm going to use uh, it says I need a hard refresh so let's just uh, uh, hard refresh this page and uh, I'll have uh, I'll have the PowerShell window <laughs> available to us click on that one again and it's coming up just give it a, give it just a little bit of time and as soon as it shows up uh, we'll configure few things here okay and then uh, we'll go to the key vault get the key vault URI a resource ID then really we need to run this command okay that's all easy set easy VM disk encryption extension you provide the resource group name provide the VM name and the disk encryption key vault URL and final disk encryption key vault ID okay and it will be all done for you so we got it so I think these are all good so you can copy this uh, because we have already well, we already know what it is just make sure to make sure this command runs properly so this I'm gonna run it as one single line it's just gonna get to the Azure key file get the properties and put it in here and next two should be pretty simple okay some more stuff manipulation of that key vault and then this is the most important command that is going to apply the disk encryption on our disk and just over here just say yes and it will start the deployment or again this may take a little bit of time so wait for five ten minutes and come back and once you go to the disk okay <laughs> what you will notice the right now you have the SSC with the PMK on Win21 and it will also have the Azure Disk Encryption enabled because we are using the PowerShell to perform the disk encryption in this case. Okay, just give uh, wait for a couple of seconds, I'm going to pause and as soon as it's done, we'll end the video. Now if you see the command is not successfully completed, although this is done properly, if this uh, page on the portal is not yet refreshed so we're gonna just click on the refresh button and if everything worked properly we expect to see ADE available to us and it is so that's all for the video and this is one of the most important uh, uh, your course object uh, objective whether you're studying for AZ 104 uh, 303 304 or even 500 this is important for you to know that how to enable the Azure Disk Encryption uh, using portal and also using the command line, command line uh, using the PowerShell. Alright, thank you. Uh, good luck if you're studying for the exam. If you like the video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave your valuable comments. Have a good day.